Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for stopping by today. Of course, we're gonna be talking about the latest updates pertaining to the A12 jailbreak. But before we do, definitely like, comment, and subscribe. Well, without wasting any further time in this video, let's get directly into things. All right, so starting off with a bang. Here we have it right here. Tweaks, this one called Ultrasound, is running on an iPhone XR, which of course is an A12 device. And a couple other users as well also tweeted their tweets showing that it's working on an iPhone XS. I think this is a XS Max at that. So tweak injection to some extent is working on A12 devices. Now I'm sure everyone is wondering how this is possible. I know a lot of people on here were immediately thinking this was fake and to some extent they're kind of right. Yes, they do have tweaks running, but this is not being done with official substrate. That has still yet to be updated by Sorg, which we were talking about in my previous jailbreak update video. And this was confirmed a couple of tweets later that this was in fact achieved by using an Electra build for A12 devices. So that pretty much confirms that Electra to some extent has been updated for A12 devices in the background. It's not actually released yet, but there is a developer beta being spread around by multiple developers so they can test their tweaks using Substitute, which again is just a fork or an alternative version of Substrate. It's basically just an unofficial way to get tweak injection running before Substrate is officially updated by Sork himself. And I'm not really trying to create any drama or anything like that. I'm just trying to lay the facts out for everyone. Pretty much in general, the Electra builds lately have been using Substitute, where in contrast, the Uncover builds have been using the official Substrate by Sork. And that brings me to my next point. Pwn to Own and the rest of the Uncovered Jailbreak team is just waiting on Sork to update Cydia Substrate for A12 and A12X. And once that is completed, they're going to be releasing the final full-fledged jailbreak utility for all iOS devices running iOS 12 to 12.1.2, including the latest devices like the iPhone XS, XS Max, XR, and the 2018 iPad Pros. And that is confirmed by this tweet here, Pwn to Own states, if this wasn't already clear enough, Uncover was fully updated for A12 and A12X support, and we're only waiting for the City of Substrate update to go. And again, he follows it up by another one that I wanted to make you guys aware of. The wait for the A12, A12X support will pay off. Stay on your current firmware, block OTA updates, and wait for it. Don't update from your current firmware. And real quickly, we'll just take a break because uh, today, once again, Apple is back with another beta, iOS 12.3 developer beta 2. They're going to be releasing a public beta probably tomorrow. And really this update seems to be focusing primarily around Apple's TV app and gearing up for their Apple TV Plus service coming later this year. Anyway, with that being the case, like Pone said, do not update to any of these latest builds or to iOS 12.1.3, 12.1.4, or 12.2. Just wait and be patient where you guys are at. You're going to receive a jailbreak for iOS 12 to 12.1.2 far before iOS 12.1.3 or above. So definitely stay on iOS 12.1.2 or below if you guys are watching this video. And I love it, Pone actually gives Sorik some credit right here. He says Sorik is extremely talented, but he is just busy these days. Please be patient. Anyway, this kind of brings me back to what started this whole fiasco as to why Pone had to clarify some things. Basically, since ultrasound was proven to actually run on an iPhone XR, that means an Electra build potentially could be coming out to the public, and really it's gonna be up to you guys if you wanna use it or not. I personally am waiting for the official substrate from Sorg himself that's going to be present on the Uncovered Jailbreak utility. Anyway guys, in the background as well with the Electra and Uncovered Jailbreaks, we also have the Rootless Jailbreak that Jake James, that developer right there, is also working on. Again, this really isn't going to be including Cydia, but it's going to probably be coming out before Uncover or Electra, potentially that is. Anyway guys, official Cydia support with Substrate by Sork himself is coming very soon. That is literally the last thing we are waiting on and I just wanted to further clarify that in this video. It could be a day, it could be a week, who knows, we'll have to wait and see, but this is literally the final piece of the puzzle until we have a full-fledged iOS 12, A12 jailbreak, as well as A12X support, 
pretty much this is going to be the final beta of the Uncovered Jailbreak until it is out of beta stages and the full-fledged iOS 12 to 12.1.2 Jailbreak can officially be released and have a public non-beta build, basically. Anyway, guys, that is pretty much all of the updates I wanted to share with you guys in this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, definitely like, comment, and subscribe. And again, if you're excited for the A12 jailbreak, definitely bookmark our A12 jailbreak status checker to be notified the second it is released. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. But until next time, this is Tony signing out.